Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ghost and today we're going to be taking a look at the tier 7 premium Pan-Asian destroyer, the Lo Yang. Uh, this ship came out actually a year ago or so, maybe two years ago. Uh, it was actually a part of a two-choice campaign back in the day. Uh, the choices being Friesland or Lo Yang. I happened to pick the Friesland. I don't regret at all picking the Friesland. It was actually a really, really um, hard campaign to pick from. Two very strong destroyers. So recently, uh, they added the Lo Yang in the store for Global XP. And I thought, you know what? I have another 750,000 Global XP. I just went ahead and bought the Lo Yang. And I don't regret it. Every game I've played so far has been pretty decent. This is a really good competitive destroyer. Um, it's got lots of things. So we're going to talk about that uh, in the, uh, obviously, the review portion that you are watching now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for the, other, uh, for the upgrades and loadout, we've got aiming systems, we have propulsion, we have concealment, and we have currently main battery mod 3. Now in the gameplay, you guys are going to see from the live stream uh, that I had yesterday, you guys will see me with this modification, but I end up switching to this later on in the stream. So yeah, uh, get my reload down a little bit better. And finally, you can put on these shorter range torpedoes. However, me personally, I don't like having six kilom uh, kilometer torpedoes. I like to have eight kilometer torpedoes and, and, or, and whatever. And I'm, I don't know. I prefer longer range torps. Yeah, these torpedoes do a lot more damage and they're a little quicker. But for me personally, I, uh, I, I could care less. I, I like having a little bit of extra range and having an easier job of stealth torpedoing. So I haven't really had the need to put on these shorter range torpedoes, but to each their own, right? Y'all can do whatever builds you want. For the loadout, we've got high explosive, we have armor piercing shells, we have some torpedoes. We're gonna talk about all three of these in the specs tab. We do have some standard uh, damage uh, control parties, nothing special here. And we have some smoke generators. So these smokes last about uh, the consumable duration. So the amount of time spent popping your smoke is about 29 seconds. Uh, these the, uh, these smoke screens last well over two minutes, um, and the reload time is about 228 seconds, so about three minute reload there. So these are basically American smoke screen esque smoke screens. They're like American smoke screens. They're around a two minute uh, action time, and they're pretty good. I do like them. And the sonar. This thing comes with sonar. It's amazing sonar. It's like the best sonar on any DD in the game. Maybe other than Z35 down at tier 6, but overall, this sonar at tier five, uh, tier 7 is super competitive. Um, you were able to pop these really good smoke screens, sit in them, and set, uh, sonar, smoke, combo, everything down. It's amazing. I love it so far. Uh, 3.8 kilometer detection of torpedoes with this sonar and 5.4 kilometer detection of ships. Okay, just to put that in perspective... My concealment is 5.4 kilometers. My sonar goes out to my concealment range, okay? So that is really nice. I'm able to just sit in smoke screens and spot destroyers that are pretty close to me, and I can just absolutely dunk on them. It's amazing. We are running some boosters as well, so just keep that in mind, all right? We're running the Super Legends flag because it was a Super Bowl day yesterday. I thought, why not put that on? Also... Yeah, the Swifties are super happy, aren't they? <laughs> uh, moving on. Oh, I didn't even realize I actually have a... Wow, thank God I'm doing a review. I have a Courage camo. I need to put that on. But in the gameplay, you guys are going to see the Type 9 camouflage, which looks really good, but I'm actually going to throw that on now. I didn't even realize I had that camo. That looks really cool. Damn. I didn't even realize I had that. Wow. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the loadout part. Now let's move on to the specs. On my build currently, we have about 18,900 hit points. For our guns, we've got 127mm 5-inch guns. These are basically American guns. To put this in perspective, the Lo Yang is literally an American destroyer, but it's Pan-Asian, okay? So yeah, we have 5-inch guns. They go out to 11.1 kilometers on my build. We've got a 2.9 second reload and a 6.2 and second 180 degree turn time on those turrets, okay? 
Now for the HE shell maximum damage, it's pretty average for a 5 inch round, especially an American 5 inch round. It's about 1900 with a 5% chance of setting fires. And the AP, once again, pretty average, 2200, okay? So yeah, the guns reload pretty quick. This is, this is actually a pretty viable gunboat. The uh, torpedoes. The torpedoes are not the best in the world, but you do have them. And actually, I don't have 8km torpedoes, I have 9km torpedoes. Uh, they're pretty slow, they go about 55 knots, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but you have 10 of them, uh, the reload is about 109 seconds, so a little over a minute and a half. Uh, 6 second, 100 and, uh, 180 degree turn time on those torpedo tubes. Uh, 11,600 maximum damage and a 1.1 kilometer detection of torpedoes there on those torpedoes. So they're pretty stealthy. They're pretty good. They're not deep waters, though. For some reason, the Lo Yang doesn't get deep water torpedoes. So there you go. And now for the AA defense. The AA is pretty mediocre. I wouldn't depend on it, but you do have some 20 millimeter Orlikans. You do have some 40 millimeter Bofors, and your, your 127 millimeter 5 inch guns are dual purpose guns, meaning that they can also shoot at aircraft. So they can shoot at ships, and they can shoot at aircraft, and they act as flat clouds, so it just works. For the maneuverability on my build, we've got about a 39.1 knot maximum speed. That's without activating my engine boost. On my turning circle, we've got 570 meter turning circle radius, which is pretty good, and the rudder shift is pretty good as well. So overall, this thing's pretty agile. It can get around the map pretty nicely. For the concealment, we've got 5.4 kilometer detection by sea. We've got a 3 kilometer by air, two guaranteed with a 2.6 while firing in smoke. That's actually quite a a long firing range in a smoke. That's actually pretty bad. Most DDs have about a 2.3 kilometer detection while firing in smoke. So that's a little worse. So there you go. For the armor, you, you don't have any, okay? So don't depend on it at all. For the overview, uh, she has extended smoke, pretty true. Nimble aim. Uh, I guess, yeah, pretty true. And Agile, yeah, pretty true. Uh, Longyang, a destroyer specifically built for the U.S. Navy, boasting powerful AA uh, guns and great speed. She was handed over to the East in 1954. Her, arm her, her, her armament, excuse me, guys, I did just wake up like 30 minutes ago. Her armament comprised dual-purpose main guns and quintuple tube uh, torpedo launchers. She entered service in 1940. There are 24 in the series. So the Lo Yang was actually a real thing. They actually, the Americans, the U.S. Navy, did actually sign this one over to the um, to the um, East or whatever. So there you go. Pretty cool, right? And now finally for the commander build. We're running Sas and Bing. Pardon me if I get that pronunciation wrong. We're running San Antonio, S.A. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> We're running S.A. Uh, <laughs> or Sa. So for the inspirations, we've got William Sims. Uh, he increases my HP, which is pretty nice. That's how I have an, almost a 20,000 hit points on my destroyer. And we're running Eric Bay for the extra concealment. His base trait is tin opener. Maximum ricochet angle of your destroyer's AP shells. I didn't actually realize this until pretty late, so I'm actually going to start using the AP a bit more. Because the AP is actually pretty decent on this little thing. For the... Uh, Skills now, we're running Observant Range, we're running Look at Me Now, we're running Perceptive, we are running Smoke on the Water, and Unstoppable. He's a Legendary 3, rank 15 Captain, and nonetheless, I will bring you guys over to the gameplay portion of today's video. Little bit of a disclaimer though, uh, it is pulled off of one of my live streams, so there's going to be some stuff that might be talked about. Um, I'm pretty unfiltered in my live streams, is what I'm saying, so if you get offended easily, maybe don't watch them, right? That's the whole idea. But anyway, moving on to the gameplay portion of today's video. I hope you all do enjoy it. Now, I just got Lo Yang. I want to play it. This is my build. Not running an Agile build. I'm actually running a Gunboat build. So... Oh, yeah, I'd use Unstop... Thank you, Simpin. Yeah, I'm actually converting over to Unstoppable now. Having the extra HP is nice, but... I need Unstoppable in my life, because I get my engine knocked out so fucking much, dude. It's actually incredible. Um, so Destroyer Detectability, we'll keep that on. I think we'll take this off. And we will put on... What's our concealment right now? It's pretty good. 5.4. Anything below 5.5 kilometers is just fine. Uh, I'm going to put on William Sims. 
as an inspiration so I can get my HP up to 18,000 because that is fun. The more HP, the more shells I can take. Yeah, I used to run Leviathan so I can get like 20,000 HP builds on my destroyers, but you know. Kind of just stopped after a while. Yeah, my sonar, yeah, it's pretty pretty nasty. So I just got Lo Yang. And uh, yeah, we're gonna play it. I literally just bought it like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Before I went and watched those hipper videos and talked about them on the channel. But yeah, like I said though, I don't have any problem with Hipper. I think he's a really well, I don't think he's a cool guy anymore. After his comment he made about a certain somebody that I kind of respect in the community. Um Yeah. Respected him. He's a really nice person. I don't agree with a lot of what he says, but you know, to each their own. The second you start being a disrespectful twat, that's the moment where I lose all respect for you. You can have the most you can have the most weirdest opinions on things, and I will still respect you as a person. As long as you're cool, you have all the respect. But you know, once you start being a dickhead to people, especially people that I respect, yeah. Nope. I don't fuck with that. Schroeder is next, indeed. Alright, we're gonna get into the cap and just um, do our thing. Enemy force detected. Hmm. Great, it's an Atlantico. Everybody loves seeing those. He's 100% just gonna bonsai charge in. So I'm gonna turn my ship away and get ready to run if I need to. And this guy is right here. If I can manage to get him within 5-4 and then pop my smoke, that would be fantastic. Smoke generator started. Oh, this guy's so dead. He's so dead. I'm sorry, little one. Alright, time to depart from the cap. Operation Stealth Torpedo is a go. Oh, he's turning. Fuck. Might hit him, but that's ah, iffy. Enemy destroyer detected. Nah, he turned way too hard. That's okay, I got my teammates here. They should be able to finish him off. If they know what they're doing and they're not going to sell broadside to him, let him, let them, let him kill them. Because he can do it. Good hits.
Stations requesting fire on the designated target. Come on, guys. Really? Can't kill them? Balti? I gotta run from this cap because these these guys are just brain deading right in, dude. I can't I can't be over here. They're all just rushing the fucking cap I'm in, so I gotta go over to Bravo. I'll worry about this cap later. It's not worth my time. There's a destroyer right off my port side as well. So I'm gonna be ready for that. But the Balti's almost dead, and I'm just gonna forget Charlie right now. Hold on the Bravo. Hope to God my teammates can kill everything over here. If not, we lose the game. If they can't kill the Georgia, if they can't kill the Cherborg, and they die, we lose. It's just that simple. Because that Balti is almost guaranteed dead. I'm trying to make my way over here to help them. I hopefully can get torpedoes on them soon, but I needed to kill this destroyer, and it's a Hayate. With no camo, or no patch. Which is interesting. I will try to sonar combo him, though. And they actually killed the fucking Georgia. What gods? Absolute gods. They might kill the Sherborg too, on two DDs. Both torpedo boats, they should be able to. <clears throat> okay, Jason, have a good one, dude. Torpedoes, direct front. Oh, I hit him. Hit him twice. That's big. That's big. Is big. Okay. DD is still over here. Oh shit. Hello. Good shit. Alright. Now it was just a Suzuma. We're gonna win the game as long as we don't die. And just keep these caps. We're destroyers, so we should be able to just keep unspotted indefinitely. I'm just gonna open up with the, my guns, because why not? Maybe get some fires.
That looks like that hurt. Very nice RNG, good sir. I could really use a follow-up fire right now. Nice. This thing's actually a really good gunboat, despite it having only four fucking guns. That is a fun fucking destroyer. I am really glad I bought that. First game, 70k damage, not the important part. The important part is we had almost 3k base, 2.8k to be exact. And we did pretty fucking well. We got some caps and killed the DDs and did our fucking job, or at least helped kill the DDs. That is a fun fucking destroyer right there. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again. Yeah, this thing's pretty fucking nasty. Best sonar in the game for a DD and decent torps and good guns. Yeah, this this is uh yeah. It's just yeah. Action stations. Oh yeah, I already got my Friesland, so <laughs> I am set by whatever I want. All right. We're going to go Bravo, and then we're going to go Charlie, I think. We got two DDs going Alpha, so they should be able to hold that just fucking fine. Yeah, I prefer the, I prefer the longer range torps. Hey, Count. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. Reporting the position of a strategic target. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Smoke generator started.
Oh, buddy, you are so fucked. You are so fucked. I'm so sorry. Not really, but it happens. Oh, yeah, reload. Yeah. That's right. I put torpedo reload, didn't I? Fuck. I should have. Yeah. I'll probably switch over once I get the credits, which shouldn't be that long. Enemy destroyer blown up. Should not be that long, because this is a tier 7 destroyer, premium destroyer, and it makes bank, so. So apparently my cruiser and my destroyer got killed by two destroyers, or... Okay. I don't even know. Enemy cruiser sighted. What was the cruiser in the... Is a Rochester and a Jaeger. That's rough. And Jaeger was broadside to them. That's even better. He could have just sat bow in, let the DD spot, which he was doing, and he could have backed up. But unfortunately, he just didn't do that. I'm radared. Oh, fuck. That is something. Not gonna open up. Because that's how I die. Problem solved, sir. Critical engine damage. Oh my god, he gets the fucking fire! The ship is on fire! He gets the fucking fire, dude. God fucking damn it, all the hell. Main turret critically damaged. Torpedoes astern. Target. Yeah, Simpin. <sighs> ah, my whole team's dead. Okay. Well, this game's loss, pretty much, unfortunately. Holy fucking torpedoes.
Yeah, Lo Yang's the one that doesn't have the deep waters. Smoke screen set. That uh, should be a dead Bismarck. No, god fucking damn it. Nobody else gonna shoot him. I need to get that fire, dude. There's the fire, okay. Main turret critically damaged. Problem solved, sir. No, they wouldn't have because they're short range. I wouldn't have been. I didn't even have the range to hit him otherwise. They the short range are six kilometers. He was like seven or eight away. I'm not running the short range ones. That extra two kilometers is super fucking beneficial. We sunk an enemy destroyer. We're actually winning this game back, though. We're pulling it back, which is fucking great. We'd love to see that. Oh, you love to see it. Good shit, team. This thing's fucking fun, man. I'm not going for the small end, I'm going for the caps. If we can get the caps, it doesn't matter what he does. Yeah, he's running all the way around there to torp the BB too, so. Yep, we got three minutes left as long as we can get the points and hold off. We should be okay. He's going to get about 400 now. When I get in the caps, I'll be able to stop that. We can afford to lose one. Now, if this fucking destroyer goes out there and loses the gunfight, he will... He has a good chance he could throw this game. But it depends. But I'm just selling for the caps, so... Hopefully we should have this in the bag. Even if he kills the DD, I don't even think he'll have enough points to catch up, actually.
I think 38, 39 knots is just fast enough. All forces, capture that area. No shit, Kansas. No shit, it's almost like I'm in the cap with you. It looks like he's going to win the gunfight. And the Kansas hit him as well. There you go. Didn't even get the third cap. A 3k base XP game. Yeah, this thing's fucking stupid good. I like it. Uh, one more game. I should have, I should have enough uh, credits to get the upgrade.